It's actually not that cold out. I just thought it'd be funny to show you all my winter stuff. That's better. So guys, in my last video, I shared the news that... I shared the news that I have left Mexico and I'm back in Canada. And if you haven't seen that video, I recommend you check it out first. I'll put a link somewhere up top. A lot of people are wondering what's coming next for my channel. What made me leave Mexico? Am I making videos in Canada now? What's happening? So I am making this little video, yeah, just to talk about what's going on in my life. Will I be back in Mexico? Yes. I don't know when exactly, but it might be sooner than you guys think. I'm gonna be looking for the next excuse I have to come back to Mexico. There's still other stories I wanna tell. There's other places I wanna visit. I wanna go through Northern Mexico. I wanna see Tijuana and Ciudad Juarez and Monterrey and all these places. So, that's gonna happen. Now, does that mean I'm done making Mexico videos? Now that I'm out of Mexico, does that mean no more content? Did I have some cold tacos al pastor and then say, I'm done, I'm out? No, no, no. In fact, I have a list of video ideas in this magic book. Uh, oh, good. In this magic book. And now that I'm home, and especially now that I'm home in winter when it's, it's pretty cold outside, I just feel like this is a good chance to focus in and tell some of the stories I never had a chance to tell. But these aren't gonna be vlogs where I just show my daily life in Mexico. That, that is done for now. But what's gonna be coming out are sort of bigger projects that I've never had the chance to share with you guys before. So uh, yeah, look up for that. But before that, I am gonna have some Canada content. So basically I'm done my Mexico vlogs for now. I'm gonna be switching to Canada content. And then within that Canada content, I'm gonna have stories from Mexico that I've always wanted to share. How's that sound? Hmm? Another question you guys might have is where is Nari? And the truth is she just caught a plane back to South Korea. Nari hasn't been home to South Korea in over two years. And this is a chance for her to go reconnect with her family, spend some time for the holidays, and I'm, I'm, I'm excited for her. I think this is really a, it's an important thing to, to stay connected with your family and your home country. <music> Guys, the new travel for me has always been about giving people a new perspective on the world, giving people a positive perspective, one that breaks stereotypes about countries and shows that the world's not such a bad place. And I think this message has resonated a lot in Mexico because Mexico is such a misunderstood country. But I don't think Mexico is the only misunderstood country out there. I think there are a lot of places with a lot of negative stereotypes and a lot of places that we don't really understand. keep traveling to keep sharing that message and I think that's the life mission that I'm on right now and it's my time in Mexico this past year that's really given life to that mission and and I have each one of you to thank for that I'm just so uh, I don't I don't have words to, to express what, what it means to me but man like Mexico's changed my life I won't ever forget what you guys did for me, and I won't ever forget Mexico. Hola, como estas? <laughs> Greetings from South Korea. Yeah, as Dan already told you guys, I'm back to Korea, having some family time. And I already miss all those delicious food, especially taco al pastor. But yeah, more than anything, I miss those fun time making cool video around Mexico. 
And yeah, I just want to say thank you to all of you. Yeah, thanks for making our time in Mexico unforgettable and meaningful. Thank you.